On the table here are three uh, glass tubes filled with various gases at low pressure and excited by electrodeless high frequency uh, glow discharges. Um, the tube at the top, this one, contains pure krypton gas at 200 torr and you'll notice that it forms a nice sort of white uh, maybe tinged with a little pink sort of filamentary discharge that uh, has some diffuse spots in places where it kind of spreads out. Um, so that's krypton at, uh, at 200 torr. The tube in the middle contains krypton at 100 torr, but it also contains uh, some iodine vapor at, uh, at that element's uh, vapor pressure at room temperature, which is about uh, uh, 300 millitor. Uh, and this is formed just by putting a crystal of iodine into the tube, a very tiny crystal, and then, uh, and then filling uh, with, uh, with krypton. You'll notice that the presence of the iodine creates uh, a more uh, intense and a brighter blue color in that filament. And uh, this is really the value of iodine. It enables you to use a, a lower pressure, which means the tube's easier to start, and it gives you that very compelling blue color and uh, great contrast, a nice sharp uh, uh, filamentary type of discharge. Um, so pure krypton, 200 torr, krypton with iodine at uh, 100 torr. The bottom tube with this nice green uh, filament in it is xenon gas, pure xenon at a pressure of only 30 torr. And uh, maybe somebody can uh, correct me, uh, but uh, I do believe the green color is representative of pure xenon itself, although it's conceivable that uh, some sort of impurity causes that effect. The xenon did come from a, uh, a uh, lecture bottle of xenon. Um, let me uh, fool around here with the, uh, the power supply, which, by the way, is up here. If I touch it, you can see... Uh, yeah, there we go. You can see the uh, arc it creates in air is nothing, nothing nearly as long as the uh, discharge we get in these nice tubes. That being the value of uh, having a uh, rare gas uh, in the tubes. The rare gas molecule has limited uh, degrees of freedom relative to the various vibrational and rotational modes that can be excited in air and, and uh, so it more of that energy goes into producing a nice uh, discharge. Uh, as far as the actual patterns of these discharges, a lot is controlled by thermal convection. So you'll see the uh, arc channel will follow the paths of convecting hot gas. I said I was going to fool around with that supply, so let me go do that. It will turn it down almost to the point where that high pressure discharge extinguishes. I mentioned that that top tube is krypton at, at uh, 200 torr. That's the highest pressure. It's hard to maintain that pressure, or that discharge at that pressure, although you see I can indeed draw it out. As we lower that voltage, we're left with only one tube operating, the xenon at 30 torr. And you'll see that it's lost a lot of its filamentary characteristics and forms this sort of green uh, diffuse band. It's a beautiful color. I hope it uh, shows up on the camera. As I add some more power, you'll see that the, uh, the xenon discharge picks up a little more dynamics, starts moving around a little more, and we start to see a blue haze uh, present in the uh, krypton with iodine tube. And I can probably get this tube to light, and I can draw out that filament. But this is sort of the bare minimum voltage that this tube will sustain a, uh, a discharge. There we go. Uh, add a little more sauce. We start getting a lot more structure, arcs moving around more. But the uh, krypton being the highest pressure is still hard to light, so I have to touch it in order to light it. And there we go, we have all three tubes back in business. I can turn up the juice on that Tesla coil and get some more, uh, some more effect, some more uh, motion in those discharges. 
But basically my uh, purpose in uh, making this video was simply to show the uh, different influences of gas composition on uh, on how these discharges behave, sort of the aesthetics of the uh, the discharges. And uh, of course, if there are any comments or questions or uh, feedback of any kind, please uh, please go ahead and uh, leave a message in the comments. And uh, um, I appreciate uh, the audience. Thanks very much.